Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. I want to bring everybody a quick video today on this Lee Pools battery, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, I get a lot of questions and stuff on emails, you know, affordable batteries, you know, budget friendly batteries, things like that. Uh, Cause you know, solar equipment can be, you know, quite cost prohibitive uh, depending on your budget. And uh, there's a lot of high dollar batteries, you know, medium range price batteries and some, some budget uh, priced batteries. Well, as of time of filming, this Lee Pulse battery is on Amazon for $188.99 with a 5% clip coupon to go with that. So that takes you down to about $179 and change. Um, so for that price, you're, you're less than $150 per kilowatt hour, which is so exciting. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. Um, batteries similar to this, 12 volt batteries. Um, you know, even just a year ago, were $350, $375. So the price has come way down on lithium batteries. So Lee Pools sent me this battery to test, uh, you know, free of charge. So I'm glad to uh, do a video on it. Um, I've been, been kind of messing with it a little bit. I've not really loaded it. I've charged it, discharged it a little bit, um, charge it up, and then put it on a power box, drain it back down a little bit, uh, stuff like that. Voltages look good on it. I've not slammed it yet, you know, to test out its it's uh, full capabilities, but I will be doing that. I'm gonna do a lot more testing with this battery and uh, I'll have a, a long, longer video showing you a, a good use case scenario for this thing. Uh, but you know, special thanks to Lee Pools for, for sending this. And uh, even since they sent it, uh, the price has dropped. Uh, when they originally sent it, it was $220. So, you know, just, just in a matter of weeks, the price has already come down to $188.99, not including the coupon. So this is, you know, a very budget friendly battery. I mean, you could stack, you know, stack these, uh, as they say, buy them cheap and stack them deep, which, uh, you know, might not be a bad idea uh, considering this price. And uh, I'm gonna compare it to a couple other batteries here in a minute, but we'll go over the specs on it first. I deal with so many batteries, it's hard to do them from memory. So we're gonna pull out the old cheat sheet right here. So we are, you know, of course, 1280 watt hours, 1.28 kilowatts. I prefer to use kilowatts. Um, resistance, look at that, less than 10 milliohms. So that's pretty good right there. And uh, prismatic cells. And no, I'm not gonna cut into this battery and tear it apart and look at the cells. Um, I have seen some teardown videos on it and yes, it is prismatic cells. Um, pretty good build quality inside. You can of course look up those teardown videos. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the means to be able to destroy a battery like this. This is more valuable to me together in one piece than it is to be tore apart. So yes, no, no tear downs on this channel. And I said they're, they're more valuable to me, you know, being completely off grid uh, to keep them together where I can use them properly instead of sawing through them and all that jazz. Um, you know, so I won't see that for a while unless people start sending me a bunch of batteries and you know, I get surplus of batteries then I might saw into some, but no, as of for now, I'm not destroying any batteries, I'm not doing any destructive testing. I'm just gonna just gonna use them and report back to you the findings. So uh, let's look at some of the other specs on it. Maximum continuous discharge, 100 amps, which is nice. Recommend charge current, 20 amps, which is pretty standard. Uh, maximum charge up to 100 amps, and it does have a 100 amp BMS in it, according to the manufacturer. And uh, you know, got all your your different uh, specifications here, so you know, can browse through that at your own leisure see if it fits your needs and no it does not have low temp cutoff i don't know why everybody gets so hung up on low temp cutoff for why would you put your batteries where they're going to freeze anyhow these batteries are, are comfortable where you're comfortable at don't let them get really cold that messes with the capacity don't let them re really hot just keep them in a moderate temperature environment uh i try to keep my batteries between 50 and 80 degrees in that range if you're gonna you know having a freezing environment for whatever reason, of course, this is not gonna be the battery for you. I mean, I just don't, I just don't get, you know, I guess Arctic people in Arctic environments, yeah. I guess uh, you could see, you know, sub-freezing temps on your batteries, but I do everything in my power to not let my batteries uh, get cold. This is an investment. You wouldn't let your little kids sit out in the, in the weather, your dog and freeze to death, would you? Well, why would you let your batteries do that? I mean, come on. So don't work low temp charge protection. No, I ain't worried about that. It's got high temp cutoff, overcurrent, all that, the, the main stuff. So uh, no big deal to me about low temp protection. I could care less if it's got low temp protection or not. Um, you know, maybe for an RV, if you're putting on the tongue or if you're not gonna have a conditioned space, you know, if you're not gonna run your heater in your RV, you know, or something like that, yeah. I mean, I guess I could see the merit of doing something like that, but 
solar power, stationary power systems. Not a big deal not having low temp cutoff, so don't don't get wrapped up in that. But uh, anyhow, let me uh, let me show you how small this battery is. It is heavy. Oh, it is heavy. It is dense. You can just tell that it is a dense dense battery. It's a uh, Group 24 size. So for the price, a lot of manufacturers for a Group 24 charge you a little bit more for the compact size. I'm gonna show you a Group 24 lead acid and then another 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery from a different manufacturer and show you the size difference. Here's a size comparison. I've got the lead pulls sitting right here in the center. Um, you know, group 24 size. And I've got a interstate flooded lead acid deep cycle battery. Uh, absolute garbage. Did not even last a year without even really cycling that much. Um, group 24. Um, so, you know, this would be, you know, uh your standard installed battery on a on an rv now this does have the advantage of course you can charge it below freezing but i've already discussed that um this weighs about 65 pounds this one they're claiming 27 i didn't scale it i don't care if it weighs 28 30 22 that's no concern of mine because i'm making stationary uh, power generation and then here's a competitor's um 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery I'm not going to reveal the brand because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but you can see 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, and it is, uh, let's see, there you go, LFP, lithium iron phosphate. So I don't want to, don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but uh, yeah, you can tell this one's been used and, and abused. This one's going to be used and abused as well. Uh, so, but just for the price, I mean, you can't beat 188 uh, dollars for this one. I think this one is currently 250 something, 260. And of course you wanted to go this route. They're like 175 bucks and it won't last you but a year. You can't pull it down but so much. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the one of the best bargains I have seen on Amazon. Lithium is getting cheap, you know, stack it deep. And one quick overview, overhead size comparison. Surely you can tell that the leap holes is the smallest of the bunch. It's even smaller than the, uh, you know, the lead acid. Let me just put it in a battery box and I'll show you. So this, for reference, is a NOCO. Um, let's see here. Where's the number on that thing? There we go. NOCO snap top battery box. Uh, marine style battery box goes on your bass boat. Your trolling motor and stuff. So there's the box. Don't pay no attention to the stink bugs. Snug. As a stink bug that's trying to hide out in here over the winter. There you go. Fits right in a group 24 box. So you can use it for your bass boat, fishing boat, your pontoon too, RVs, all that good stuff. Fits right in there. And no, this one does not fit in there. So, uh, yeah, nice compact battery. Power dense. So there she sits. I'll include an Amazon link to this battery so you can find it easily. And, uh, you know, as a member of Amazon Associates, I may earn a small commission with your qualifying purchase. Any purchases you make on Amazon do help the channel and let me provide more videos like this to you. Um, I think you're going to like where this is going to go. Um, it may be, you know, three or four weeks before I get the, the final video out for this, but just want to let you know about the, the good sale on this. Um, just amazing, amazing prices on, on lithium. You could build a killer bank right now. I wish batteries were as cheap as they are now um, when I started building up my, my bank and uh, you know, battery bank. So that's just, a, that's just a good deal. And then another thing, the manufacturer also, Lee Pools claims anywhere from four to 15,000 cycles on the sales, depending on your depth of discharge, of course. You know, lower, lower uh, depth of discharge, slower charge, all that'll contribute to a longer life. If you rip them, you know, empty to full, you know, every day or twice a day, stuff like that, of course they're not gonna last as long. And uh, at this price, it's cheaper. You can't even build your own battery as cheap as this is. I looked up some sales before I filmed this video, some 100 amp hour sales to build your own battery just to see, cause I'll, you know, I get the whole subset of people that want to build batteries. You can't even build this battery as cheap as you can buy it completely made and shipped to your door. I mean, this comes right to your door ready to use. You don't have to assemble out of BMS. And if the BMS ever does fail, you can always just take it apart, pull the sales, put your own BMS on it, and then build a battery from that point. So just. That, that's a screaming deal, screaming deal. But anyhow, special thanks to Lee Pools. Look for more videos on this battery and its use case scenarios for the off grid mountain homestead. Appreciate y'all watching. And uh, questions or anything, I'll put in the comments. I hope I earned a like from you on this. Uh, yeah, y'all have a nice day.